Welcome to the Things Fundamentals on LoRaWAN Networks, Roaming and Peering. Today, we'll talk about what LoRaWAN Networks look like, and we'll discuss how LoRaWAN Roaming and Peering can easily allow you to expand your network coverage and add redundancy. We'll take a look at two use cases which demonstrate this value. I'm Ben from the Things Industries. Let's get started. On the agenda today, we'll first take a look at a LoRaWAN network. Then, we'll explain peering and then roaming. We'll introduce Packet Broker, a service which enables roaming and peering between any LoRaWAN networks. And then I'll show you how to get started using LoRaWAN with peering and roaming enabled. Firstly, this is what a LoRaWAN network looks like. End devices communicate wirelessly with gateways. Gateways convert wireless messages into IP LoRaWAN traffic and send it to a network server like the ThingStack. Gateways are key here in providing coverage. A single gateway mounted on a high point in an urban area can capably provide 10 kilometers radius of coverage. Gateways are inexpensive and can easily be added and configured to route traffic to a LoRaWAN network, expanding the coverage of that network. But since most LoRaWAN networks are private, this can mean multiple solutions providers are covering the same area with multiple LoRaWAN networks. From a technical standpoint, this is no problem, but this is an inefficient use of resources. Reinventing the network coverage wheel here over and over again isn't ideal. Enter LoRaWAN peering. Peering allows network servers that receive traffic for devices on another network to forward that data to the other network. This means that in an urban area with existing coverage, network server operators can share coverage, adding additional use cases on that same backbone. For example, if a smart city builds coverage to install LoRaWAN Bosch parking lot sensors, the same coverage could be used to extend connectivity for a wireless air quality monitoring project, for fire detection, you name it. And the stakeholders can be completely different groups. To support peering, the Things Industries developed Packet Broker, a LoRaWAN backbone service that easily allows network server operators to configure peering agreements. The groups merely make arrangements through Packet Broker to exchange traffic. For overlapping existing coverage, peering can be used to add redundancy. If the same smart city has one LoRaWAN network for parking sensors and one for air quality, why not create a peering agreement and double the amount of gateways each sensor can connect to? The cost of adding gateways is an order of magnitude less than a network outage, and with packet broker peering, the value added from that redundancy can be shared with other stakeholders. The next use case is for roaming. Roaming occurs when a device leaves its home network and connects to gateways which then forward that traffic back to the home network. Imagine a logistics company places LoRaWAN trackers on trucks traveling across borders. Creating a single private LoRaWAN network covering all of their routes would be difficult and expensive, but with roaming they are able to utilize existing LoRaWAN coverage anywhere their trucks travel. In network dense areas, the logistics company can even take advantage of multiple roaming agreements to benefit from redundancy. Roaming is especially useful for international LoRaWAN use cases. Theft detection devices, for example, benefit from broad roaming agreements as they might show up on any network if they're stolen. If you're interested in seeing how roaming and peering can benefit you, check out Packet Broker. Packet Broker enables peering and roaming between networks and already routes millions of LoRaWAN packets per day. Packet Broker also provides journals to allow compensation agreements for the shared coverage and tracking of what roams and peers. If you're using the ThingStack, Configuring Packet Broker is as easy as checking a couple boxes to control what data you share. To learn to configure Packet Broker, head to the ThingStack documentation. Information about connecting other network servers to Packet Broker is also available at packetbroker.net. Now that you know how to use LoRaWAN networks, peering, and roaming to your benefit, let's talk about getting started with LoRaWAN. If you're looking to prototype your first LoRaWAN solution, we recommend the Things Network, where you can use the free The Things Stack Community Edition, which has coverage from tens of thousands of gateways all over the world. The Things Network also has open roaming and peering agreements with many private networks to share that global coverage. Once you're ready to scale your solution commercially, reach out to the Things Industries for an SLA-backed, enterprise-grade private LoRaWAN deployment, either in the cloud or on your own hardware. All the ThingStack deployments fully support Packet Broker and allow you to configure your own roaming and peering agreements so that you can start benefiting from existing coverage without adding a single gateway of your own. Thanks for watching.